I caught my daughter kissing the vacuum cleaner. Huh? As it turned out, Jeannie was trying to enlarge her lips so she could look like an Instagram filter. I threatened to take her phone away if she didn't stop doing that to herself. But it didn't work. Take it! I'm going to make myself beautiful anyway! The next morning, I woke up to the sound of broken glass. Jeannie broke my makeup mirror, just so she couldn't see her imperfect face in it. That is too much, young lady. I took all the money in her pockets and told her to buy me a new mirror with it. That's not fair. I was saving this money for a ring light. Hmm? And what do you suggest? For me to put on my makeup while looking at my reflection in a bottle. I sent Jeannie to fix the situation at the cosmetic market. She quickly returned home, but without a mirror. Instead, she had a police officer and a social worker with her. It seemed like she had been caught trying to steal some expensive cosmetics. assured them that it must have been a misunderstanding, since Jeannie didn't use cosmetics. The officer almost believed me. That's when Jeannie whispered something in my ear, <gasps> demanding me to allow her to have plastic surgery. Say yes! Otherwise, I'll tell them that you made me steal the cosmetics. Then the police will take me away from you. I realized that I had no choice and promised Jeannie a surgery. Jeannie didn't say anything and soon after our guests left. I wanted to punish her. But Jeannie had thought everything through. She got the social worker's phone number and threatened to call him if I didn't keep my promise. I told you, I'll become beautiful anyway. I was forced to take Jeannie to the clinic, of course. I had a nace up my sleeve. At my request, the doctor showed my daughter scary photos all side effects of surgeries, failed healing processes, and so on. Yet, huh? Jeannie wasn't scared by them. I've seen all of this and learned everything about it. Now leave me here for the next three days so I can start preparing. I had no more arguments. The doctor asked Jeannie exactly what she wanted to do. My daughter showed him the photo of a woman on her phone and said that she wanted to have her face. I was ready to find that Instagram model and tear her apart. But as it turned out, that was a photo of me. Jeannie spent the next few days at the clinic getting ready for the surgery. However, I had also been preparing myself. And when I entered the operation room, my daughter didn't even recognize me. For the first time ever, my daughter saw me without makeup and no beauty injections. Mom? You have freckles too? You look so much prettier! I grabbed Jeannie's hand, led her to the mirror, and stood next to her. You don't need surgery to look like me, because you already look just like me. Jeannie admitted that it was the first time she looked at her reflection 
and saw beauty instead of faults. When I asked her about the surgery, she told me that she had changed her mind. Jeannie no longer wanted to spoil her beauty because I stopped doing it as well. In order to educate a child, you must educate yourself first.